All right, we're going to continue looking at solving systems of equations using the elimination method. When solving systems of equations using the elimination, the first thing we want to do is make sure that both equations are set up in standard form, or so that we have the x's, the y's, and the constants lined up one on top of each other, which in this case, that has been done for us. The second thing we're going to do is set up the equations so that when we add the two equations, we can eliminate one of the variables. So in this particular case, I'm going to take that second equation, and I'm going to multiply that second equation by a negative 1. So I'm going to take the whole thing, multiply it by a negative 1. So negative 1 times 7x is a 7x. Negative 1 times 5y is a negative 5y. And a negative 1 times 41 is a negative 41. So I've taken the second equation, multiplied it by a negative 1, which has given me the new equation 7x minus 5y equals a negative 41. So now what I'm going to do is take the original equation 2x plus 5y equals 14. Use that new equation 7x minus 5y equals negative 41. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two equations and I'm going to add them together. So when I add the x's, I have 2x's plus 7x's. 2x's plus 7x's leave me with 9x's. When I add the y's, 5y plus a negative 5y, notice the y's eliminate each other, which is why I had to multiply by negative 1, so that when I add them together, I can eliminate those y values. I'm going to continue adding. The next thing I'm going to add is 14 plus a negative 41. And 14 plus a negative 41 is a negative 27. Now notice I have a new equation here. 9x is equal to a negative 27. I'm going to solve that equation for x. Which in this case, the only thing I need to do to solve for x is to divide by 9. So when I take a negative 27 divided by 9, I end up with a negative 3. So we found half of our answer. We now know that x is equal to a negative 3. However, I still got to find out what the y value is equal to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this negative 3 and I'm going to substitute it in for one of the x's in the original equation. So I can put it here in for this x or I can take the negative 3 and put it in for that x. The choice is mine. I'm going to go ahead and use that first equation. I'm going to use 2x plus 5y equals 14. So now that I know that x is equal to a negative 3, I'm going to replace x with that negative 3, which means I now have this equation 2 times negative 3 plus 5y equals 14. And I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to start by multiplying 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. Now I'm going to add 6 to both sides. 14 plus 6. 14 plus 6 is 20. Now I can go ahead and divide by 5. And of course 20 divided by 5 would be a 4. So at this point I now know the y value is 4. So to finish this I'm going to write the answer as an ordered pair. And that order pair would be negative 3, positive 4. Again, when writing order pairs, we must have the x value first, then the y value. So the solution to this system is the order pair negative 3, positive 4. All right, let's take a look at a second example for solving a system of equation using the elimination method. Once again, the first step in using the elimination method is to make sure both equations are set up in standard form or so that the x's, the y's, and the constants are lined up one on top of each other. Of course, that step has been done for us. So I'm going to move on to the second step. And the second step, 
we want to make sure that we have opposite numbers in front of the X or opposite numbers in front of the Y's. So what I'm going to have to do in this particular case is I'm going to have to take that first equation and I'm going to multiply that first equation by a negative 2. And you'll see why here in a second. Alright, so again, I'm taking that first equation and simply multiplying it by negative 2. So negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. A negative 2 times a negative 2y is a positive 4y. And a negative 2 times 3 equals a negative 6. So at this point, I've taken the first equation, multiplied it by a negative 2, and got the new equation, negative 2x plus 4y equals a negative 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this new equation that I've just found, use it, and keep the other second equation, 2x minus 4y equals 6. And now I'm going to add these two equations together. Now notice here, I'm adding the x's. I have a negative 2x plus 2x. When I add a negative 2x plus 2x, I end up with 0x's. There are no x's. There's absolutely nothing there. I'm going to do the same thing with the y's. I'm going to add the 4y plus the negative 4y. When I add 4y plus a negative 4y, again I end up with nothing. There are no more y's. Notice when I add the constants, a negative 6 plus 6, a negative 6 plus 6 is also 0. Of course, when I add these two zeros together, that equals 0. Now notice what happened here. Notice the equation has no x or y. There is no variable. Notice that we also have a true statement. And anytime we have a true statement, we have an infinite number of solutions. So in this particular case, this system has an infinite number of solutions. Alright, let's take a look at one last example of solving system of equations using elimination method. First step again is to make sure that both equations are written in standard form or so that we have the x's, the y's, and the constants lined up one on top of each other, which is what we have here. So that step again has been done for us. Step B. Next step we want to do is make sure that either the numbers in front of the X or the number in the front of the Y's are opposites of each other. So in this particular case I'm going to have to take that first equation and I'm going to multiply that first equation by a 2. Alright, so let me go ahead and take that first equation multiply it by 2. So 2 times the negative x is a negative 2x. 2 times 2y is 4y. And 2 times 3 equals a 6. So my new equation is negative 2x plus 4y equals 6. So I'm going to use that new equation. Negative 2x plus 4y equals 6. I'm going to keep that second equation, 2x minus 4y equals 3. Now notice the reason I multiplied by 2 is so that the numbers in front of the x were opposites of each other, or so that the numbers in front of the y's were opposites of each other, which in this case happens to be both, opposite numbers in front of x and in front of y. So let's take a look and what ha see what happens here. When I add a negative 2x plus 2x, I end up with, zero x's. There's nothing there. Now I'm going to add up the y's. 4y plus a negative 4y is also zero. Then I'm going to add up my constants. 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 equals a 9. Of course when I add 0 plus 0 I get a 0. Now you'll notice here this equation has no x or no y. It has no variables. You'll also notice that this time we have a false statement. And anytime we have a false statement, the system has no solution. So this particular system has no solutions.